to life! He needs water, and fast! That thing is hot! I've got to get SpongeBob some water quick, or he's a goner! I can't reach it. Anyway, my mom always taught me not to play with electrical outlets. Everything in this place is dried out! I can't let that happen to my buddy Spongebob! Or to me! Sea urchins! And they're all dried out! It's really gross. Can't reach the bowl. I'll have to find another way to get water to SpongeBob. Everything in this place is dried out. I can't let that happen to my buddy SpongeBob. Or to me. It's a lunchbox. It's too heavy to move on my own. Though. That red button looks like it does something, but I'm not strong enough to press it. Here goes nothing! Whoa! Wow! Well, that hurt my belly! Looks like everything spilled out of the lunchbox! Wow! Look at the size of this food! No water here, though. Onion! Well, a piece of one, anyway. It's making me tear up a bit. a way to get back to Bikini Bottom. Well, don't worry, SpongeBob. We can ride the... 
ride the what off? The... A mythical beast with a chest of iron and, and some hair, too, and he roams the beaches looking for people in trouble. We just have to find the whistle. The whistle? Yeah, the call of the... It's a chrome whistle, and when you blow it, he comes and saves you. Hooray! Sounds kind of crazy. It is! Hooray! I guess we don't have much choice. Okay, Patrick, let's find that whistle and ride that... Hooray! Those things should be illegal. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. I'm not sure what that is, but it makes me kind of homesick. It's a shell. It's kind of shovel-shaped. It's a puddle of tar. It's really sticky. Who knows what unspeakable horrors lurk in there? I, for one, do not intend to find out. The ocean! My home! Hi there, what you doing? I'm searching for buried treasure. You'd be surprised at how much stuff people lose at the beach. No, I wouldn't. Found anything? Yeah, I spotted something a little ways over there. I marked it with an X. It's nothing valuable, though. My metal detector says it's made of chrome. I can't be bothered with anything that isn't gold. Gold, huh? Yep, gold is worth that, my man. I'll take your word for it. If you don't want that chrome thing, can I have it? Sure. All you have to do is dig it up. I mark where I saw it with an X. Thanks. What are you doing out of water? What are you doing out of water? I asked you first. I'm a mud skipper. I can go for days out of water. Can you? Nope. Well then? Well then, indeed. I'm gonna go. Happy hunting. have to find a quicker way to get home than just swimming back. We never make it in time. What about the... Oh, Patrick, don't be silly. No one believes in that. I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy whose cousin once saw a picture of a... footprint in the sand. Really? That's enough evidence for me. How can we reach him? The call of the... The what? I have heard the call of the... It is good. Makes sense, Patrick. Well, the guy I know says you just have to call him. I wonder what his number is. Seven? Uh, well, we have to find some way to get home quickly, with or without that. It's a piece of driftwood. Seems pretty strong. It looks like an X. That isn't going to work. Driftwood. Hooray! It worked!
With an ear-piercing squeal, the call of <coughs> reverberates across the coast. Seconds later, it produces the desired effect as a glimmering and golden <coughs> jogs into view. He offers to give them a ride back to Bikini Bottom on his muscular back. Wahoo! Upon arriving over Bikini Bottom, shoot SpongeBob and Patrick down to the seafloor using his massive chest muscles. It doesn't take long for them to realize that Plankton has been up to no good where they were gone. Everyone in Bikini Bottom appears to be under his control, including King Neptune himself. SpongeBob and Patrick must find a way to break Plankton's hold over the citizens Fucking by hell, any means everyone. necessary. We're back, Patrick, and just in time. Now all we have to do is give Neptune back his crown. Come on! Uh, I think I'm gonna stay here. That's Perch Perkins over there, you know? You might want to interview me. Ah, uh, okay. I'll be back as soon as I give Neptune his crown. Right. <laughs> 